and something that we have been waiting for from Amazon has arrived. It's actually a small rig cold shoe replacement, something or other. Now, 95% of you, probably 99% of you, are looking at me and going, what the hell are you talking about, Liam? Now, we've recently upgraded the camera. As you guys can see, you won't be able to see from there, but anyway, it's the Sony a6400. And uh, instead of having a flip out screen, it now has a flip up screen. When I go to use the microphone, you stick it on top of the camera, I then can't see myself or touch the screen or anything like that. And so this hot shoe relocator thing um, basically shifts where the, uh, where the microphone will go on top of the um, camera. And so it should be a nice, simple kind of addition is literally like this look and so you would slide your microphone into this part and this part goes where the microphone usually goes and so it's actually out of the way of the, the camera. It would make sense if you had the camera in your hands but you don't so you're just gonna have to trust me. So essentially this little bit goes on top of the camera, slide it round the outside and in like that. Apologies if there's any noise, I've no idea what's going on right now. And then, you should just be able to slide that in like this. Is it gonna go in? Is it going in? Uh, as you can see, this is a very simple piece of equipment, you know? I mean, it's probably a lot easier if you're not actually trying to show everybody what you are doing and you can just kind of get on with it, but anyway. I'm a, I'm a YouTuber, so this is what we do. Plug it in, round the side, like so. And in three, two, one. Hello. Hello. Can you, can you hear me or not? LSJ TV. I hope you enjoyed that little leg workout, okay? That's all you're getting for now for the leg workouts. But you can use the main set as a kind of gauge, shall we say? As a gauge for what the one rep max may be. So that was 120 for sets of 10, 9, and 8. So 8 was the final set. Not too shabby, if you ask me. Today we are driving up to Leeds for a next best gym episode. I'm working with a company that I freaking love, Lodo. Lodo have invited me up here and I'm filming today with them. They've got some exciting new products and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that video. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be seriously, seriously sick. There's only a certain amount of gyms in Leeds that will be worthy of the best gym episode. So let me know which you think we are heading to today. 
in the comment section down below. For now though, drop the video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you want to. I'm going to show you little bits of the gym, but that's it. you got to wait for the specific episode, okay? And let's get it started, people. Was there something I could have said to make your heart beat better? Lewis Capaldi. Funny story about Lewis Capaldi, you know. Myself and Charlotte um, had tickets to go and see Bastille. Right, you know Bastille, eh, eh, oh, eh, oh, like Pompeii, all of that, like, that you won't get it from what I just sang, but we had tickets to go and see um, Bastille, right? And Lewis Capaldi was a support act. Yes, that's right, people. Global sensation, Lewis Capaldi was the support act. Now, you've got to bear in mind, before I get into this story, that I listen to Radio 1 on a daily, pretty much all day, every day. I love Radio 1. I would put Lewis Capaldi's success down, like, a, a big portion of it, down to Scott Mills and Chris Stark their show at lunchtime, right? They massively, massively, massively promoted him, filmed loads of stuff with him, and it went viral online, and then people started picking up on his songs, and then boom, like Lewis Capaldi was global. It's like a year later, he's one of the biggest people in the entire freaking world, right? And so we had tickets last January to see Bastille with Lewis Capaldi as the freaking support act. So because I listened to Radio 1 during the day and all this kind of stuff, I already knew who Lewis Capaldi was. But this was at the stage where Lewis Capaldi was a nobody. Like, as ridiculous as that sounds now, Lewis Capaldi was a nobody this time last year, right? We had, we had tickets to go and see him on the 28th of, of January, some, something like that. 27th, 28th, 29th, I don't know. The end of January 2019. Um... And we ended up going to Dublin instead. Charlotte booked the best gift ever. We went to Dublin, she sorted the hotel, she sorted the flight, she paid for everything. She paid for that trip, it was a Christmas present, right? But we couldn't go to the gig because she got the freaking dates messed up. And we ended up missing Bastille and Lewis Capaldi. Bearing in mind that no one will have known Lewis Capaldi's songs by that point in time. Like, I knew some of them because I listened to the radio and stuff, and I would have known who he was. But he was a support act. Imagine Lewis Capaldi in a small venue as a support act. That's never going to happen again. He is selling out arenas across the freaking world now. And that is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Like, I'm gutted I can't go. But just think of that as a freaking career. Like, you're supporting Bastille, which... Yeah, it's great because Bastille are awesome. Like that's who we were uh, aiming to see. But f me to to do that in a year, got where he's gotten, and he, it's just it's insane. It's absolutely insane. And anyone who doesn't like his music or doesn't like him or whatever, you've just got to respect the grind that Lewis Capaldi has gone on over the past year or so. Now it's mad, absolutely mad. So yeah, that's my uh, Lewis Lewis Capaldi story for the day. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed that, and um, let's continue with the day, shall we? Roxanne, Roxanne, all she want to do is party all night. As far as I know, it should be one minute away, just on the right hand side down here. However, there we go. From experience of this series so far, these gyms tend to be pretty freaking difficult to find. Um, I don't know if there's a car park or anything like that, you know, by episode 8 I should really learn to look whether there's a car park or not, where I'm going to park my car when I get there, what the front of the gym actually looks like. You know, I should really learn these things and probably think about them before I make the uh, 150 to 200 mile round trip to Arrive the... at your destination. Arrive? Are you kidding me? Where is it? If I just type in... Ultraflex. No, it says it's 0.4 miles away. Directions, please. So I've actually had to download Google Maps because do you guys ever get that when you're on Google and you're searching for a place to go and you try and get it on Apple Maps but it won't because you search for it on Google and they try and get you to use Google Maps. Head northwest on Calverley Lane oh. towards Coalhill Lane then turn left onto Coalhill Lane turn left onto Langley Avenue head northwest on Calverley Lane towards Coalhill Lane then turn left onto Coalhill Lane. The radio has gone off that is how you know we are pretty much lost. Left to stay on Coalhill Lane then turn left. This is the way I just came though. Is this it? 
Your destination will be on the left. This is it? Your destination is on the left. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, right. Interest. Oh, sick. Where do I park? Um. So that says no parking. Use main car park, but... I have no idea where the main car park is. How are we? All right, how are you? That's right. It was all right, to be fair. Could have coordinated my jumper with the gym. Everybody. We are halfway through the session right now. I'm not going to show anything and keeping my face close to the camera. There's a lot of red here. We're in Leeds. Where could we be? With Lodo. Drop some hints on Instagram, some hints in this video too. Drop your comments in the comment section down below. Where is the best gym? Episode 8. X, the best gym X Lodo. Where is that going to be? Let me know. All I will say is, people, is that was awesome absolutely awesome like uh, wow just uh, i love stuff like that i'll explain more in the next video but lodo's links will be in the bottom in the bottom in the description of this video the next video all of that kind of stuff that was very 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 good and in the next video the best gym episode luke will explain to you a little bit more about this about what's coming about what's coming for lodo and um there's plenty more that we can't even say yet so so much coming I'm looking forward to working with these guys a lot more. It's gonna be sick. I, oh, I've i used their products for freaking ages. And to do something like this with them is just awesome. Like, it's really, really cool. And it's the power of social media. It is literally what I always talk about, just bringing people from all over the country, all across the freaking world. Oh, hello, Mr. Satnav. Just brings people together from all walks of life, all over the world, all over the country, and it's nuts. I freaking, freaking love it. Social media. I, I, wow, it's just, it's incredible, it's incredible. So, we are heading home now, uh, Leeds to Melton Mowbray is approximately two hours away, I'm about ten minutes into the journey, something like that, um, but it is actually six o'clock, so we've got peak traffic time uh, on a Friday night, but I... <laughs> I don't even care. Just go home. Dance Anthems is going to be on the radio in a minute. That's probably one of my favourite shows. And I'm just going to enjoy the vibes. I, I'm, I've, you know what? I've even got... Hang on. I'm on a roundabout. This is not wise. Let me get round here first. In 1.1 miles, at the roundabout, take the second exit on Turing Road. Okay, will do. Thank you, Siri. I've, I've even got... A monster on the go. Not that I need it because I'm freaking high on life right now, but there we go. Cheers team. Cheers everybody. The fact that I get to do stuff like this is literally entirely down to you. So this, uh, I'm just so excited for the future. Just good feelings, good vibes all around. And it's all down to you guys at the end of the day. If you weren't watching these kinds of videos, you know, I wouldn't be making these kinds of videos, this kind of content. It's, lit it's literally as simple as that. I want to work on ways to get you guys involved as much as possible. Just in as a general kind of rule. There's so much coming for me, so much coming for Lodo, so much coming for, like, so much awesome stuff that I can't really talk about. Like, I, I wow, like, it's, it's gonna be all, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be so, so, so good. It's gonna be a good few months on the channel. So subscribe if you want to. Uh, excuse me! I'm gonna keep that in because people burp and I'm real, like realist in the game. I'm just keeping that in, you know? So drop a video a like if you're enjoying it so far. I'm gonna put the camera away and focus on my driving because I haven't got a freaking clue where I'm going. And Leeds is, it's a bit of a maze. Like mini, mini roundabouts everywhere. I don't know where I'm like going. Like, you know those annoying mini ones that aren't a proper roundabout, but you have to stick to them anyway and you have to kind of go around them and like, steer all funny and like yeah they're everywhere not a fan not a fan but the gyms very good brand new joel corey coming up Ooh. MK. and this is calvin with dua one kiss it's radio one yeah falling in love with me possibilities i look like all you need
Okay, we've not made it home, people, but I wanted to show you a real good tip, right? If you are driving um, a sustainable period of time and you are drinking lots of fluid, like mod Monster, you are undoubtedly going to need a wee wee at some point, right? Arrived. I have arrived, you're right. So, what I have done is... The destination uh, is on your left. Yes, I know. If you are on Apple Maps like this, you see this little bar at the bottom, right? Swipe up, oh no, swipe up on that bar and it will bring up these options for you, okay? So if you uh, don't know how far the next service station is, say you're running out of petrol or what, whatever, you're hungry, you want some food, this button here, the blue one, shows you where the li where the nearest petrol stations are. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be that accurate because I'm at one right now, but it will bring up a list of all of the nearest petrol stations um, where you can waltz in and use their toilet uh, because you need to Proceed go. To the route. I'm trying. Hey, is there a toilet here? Yeah, I see. You guys, sometimes they really, really, really smell, but I'm really, really desperate. Do you guys ever just get super freaking conscious in a place like that? You know if you ever use a public toilet? And once you're done in the toilet, there's someone waiting outside and it's like, you know, now their turn. And it stinks in the toilet that you've just been in. The, to the, it's, the smell isn't you, like you've not farted, you've not pooed, nothing. Like, it's just a general stench of the toilet. That happened to me just then, I was like, oh, uh, hiya. <laughs> It wasn't me, I promise. Okay, heading home. Time to get some good grub because nutrition has been horrendous today. I think I've had a couple of chicken breasts which was in a packet from Sainsbury's. I've, in fact, I've just not eaten very much at all. So uh, we've got some calories to make up with, to make up with, to make up for, um, which is good. Because it means I can have a big old dinner tonight, which I am in the mood for. At McDonald's because we are kind of uh, in all honesty nursing a, a bit of a hangover from last night aren't we babe? Speak for yourself. Hey neither of us are a hundred percent. I might be a little bit worse for wear in comparison to you but neither of us are a hundred percent. I'm just tired. There you go. Hurry up by the way McDonald's paper straws like it. I mean I can't drink my drink but I'll, <laughs> I, I, I'll accept it you know. Can you chocolate or vanilla? I don't know I can't get any. <laughs> I really want to invest in one of those, like, you know, the bendy, um, uh, uh, metal straws. Bendy metal straws? No, like when we were at Revs last night, they didn't have, um, you can get metal straws that fold in half. And yeah, then you slide yeah, them in your yeah, pocket. yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. That's what I mean, like, because when we were at Revs last night, they didn't give you straws yeah. because they don't do straws anymore. But then, like... Shit, I just unsealed the coffee. Situations like right now, I could really do with a, a bendy, a foldable metal straw. Yeah. yeah, I know. Oh, you've ruined it! I'll fix your comment. What are you <laughs> We've actually come to McDonald's um, because they are taking off the menu. Probably one of our favourite items. We've no? only had them twice. Yeah, but we like them. Yeah. We, how often do we, we have don't McDonald's? Go to McDonald's? We don't go to McDonald's. No. If we have something, we have either a pizza a or a KFC. Or, yeah, we have McDonald's breakfast. But anyway, they're taking off the cheese bites. Um, and uh, is this no? That's no, not they're that. not coming. They've sent us to the the bay um, because they've obviously had to make them. So we wanted to try them one last time before they actually take them off the menu. God knows why they're taking them off the menu. Um, it's because they're bringing the mozzarella sticks back. Are they? They only have one at a time. Okay, I'll allow it. I didn't realise that. Uh, it's okay. just made me look like a right idiot. You're in the I haven't had a milkshake in ages. Yorks and yorks. Mm. 
I always have water from McDonald's or anywhere, even KFC or that Subway, I get water. So I just craved one, this was absolutely lit. And it's zero calorie. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, oh yes, people. Oh, oh yes. Oh, cheers, me. Cheers, me. Oh, you snake. You're a snake. Look at that. Focus. Did you focus on my face because this video is all about me. It's a bit hot, but come on, God. Right, thank you everybody for watching. Mm. Wow. Don't talk me mouthful, that's rude. Thank you all for watching, everybody. If you did enjoy, like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, share it with a friend, all of that jazz. Anything else? That's it. Anything Remember else? to come back on Wednesday for a new video. Well, it might be before that, actually. Tuesday. It might be before that. Monday. Depends how it goes. Come back in a week. Good. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Together we will grow. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, Felicia.